Hey everyone, it's James here from Seton. Today I'm showing off my Media Center for iOS. As you can see here, I'm already connected up to my Windows Media Center PC uh, right here on the iPhone. And right here, right away, I have all of my upcoming recordings, uh, schedule, or, or scheduled and recent recordings, and also recent movies that were added to my collection. Um, we have lots of sections from television, movies, search, and even a full uh, remote as well. So let's go and go into some of the sections here. So going into television, we have a full uh, TV gallery, which actually uh, groups all of your TV series together. Uh, you can go in and uh, select one, uh, browse all the different episodes, and we even have a feature of random play as well, which allows you to go in, select a series, and hit random, and it'll actually just start a random episode in that series on either your home theater PC or any Windows Media Center extenders uh, such as uh, Seton Echo or uh, Xbox 360 as well. And then, of course, you can go in and fully control those extenders or home theater PCs right here on the remote control. So you have all your options that you'd want and even a, a number pad as well. Uh, and all your shortcuts up top here for guide, live TV, and things like that. Of course, we also offer a full program guide available to you. So you can come in, browse all of your uh, schedule or all of the upcoming shows. You can go in, select one, uh, get more information on it, hit record. Now it's then scheduled to record right there on your home theater PC. Uh, you can go in, enter channel number, skip ahead to specific day, all really quick uh, right there. You can also go in, select a channel, and get a full lineup as well, um, and then tune to that channel as well on, on your home theater PC or extender. Of course you can come in, and uh, browse all of your recorded television. You can swipe to actually just delete really fast. You can go in, get more information uh, on it, select watch or delete, um, and you hit watch, and it'll just ask you to start playing back on your home theater PC. And if you have an extender set up, it'll actually pop up and ask you where do you want to start playback, either on your HTPC or on the extender. One of uh, my favorite sections, and everyone's favorite sections, probably has to be premieres. This actually goes out, and it'll actually um, find all the upcoming series and season premieres on any of your channels that are upcoming and actually show them to you as well. So during premiere season or just any time you're looking for something new, you can come in uh, and actually schedule, schedule recordings really, really easily and fast. Uh, so it has to be everyone's favorite feature by far. Of course, we offer full scheduled and uh, series management as well. You can come in, uh, select on a show, delete it, uh, adjust settings, you can add events to your calendars for upcoming uh, shows as well, which is great. Um, and of course we offer uh, movies for uh, offer movies as well. So you can go in and specify their local collections on your uh, home theater PC or server, but we also put in recorded television as well. Um, and then in here you actually see the number 23, so that's actually some live information that is going on since the last time you've actually come into the app how many new movies or recordings have been added to your collection so you can come in get more information jump around really quick uh, as well and of course we have that random feature as well which is really cool uh, some other features we really took a lot of time and energy to put in uh, for things such as uh, universal search so right here you could just start searching for something uh, maybe house for house hunters or something like that you can go out and it'll search all of your uh, scheduled record or your, your recorded TV, program guide, movies, channels, and it actually allows you to go in and just easily find something right away. You can even fine tune all of your search settings as well. So we really let you to get very specific, um, searching specific categories and really fine tuning the program guide search as well. So overall, this is just a really quick look at some of the features in My Media Center, which is available right now. Uh, in the App Store for both iPhone, uh, iPad, and iPod Touch as well. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed this, and hope you enjoy My Media Center.